Hi, I'm Julie. I'm a music teacher currently teaching piano and voice in a studio setting. One of the benefits of taking lessons in a studio setting is the one-on-one -on -one interaction between the student and the teacher. Unfortunately, most students only have one lesson a week for at most 60 minutes. The rest of the week, the student is expected to go home and practice all of the things that the teacher taught them in the lesson about that concept, about the song they're working on. Chances are, by the time the student has gotten home, they have forgotten everything their teacher told them about their posture, about their breathing, about the way they're supposed to keep their tongue relaxed, etc., etc. My goal is to bridge that gap between studio lessons by creating practice videos for my students to use at home, in a way bringing, them, bringing me with them when they practice all week long. When I was a music teacher in a school setting, at the beginning of the school year, I struggled with what I referred to as my back to school voice. Because my voice hadn't been used in that way for several weeks or months, my voice felt tired as I got back into the routine of daily teaching music classes. My go-to warm-ups during this struggle with my back to school voice were all warm-ups that focused on relaxation, and keeping things open. I would like to share those with you as we are in the back to school season right now. Even if you're not a student, these can benefit you. When, anytime your voice is tired, anytime you're feeling stressed out, if you're just coming off of being sick, these are great go-to tired voice exercises. The first one that we're going to do only deals with the sound lu, with the oo sound, you have a lot of space inside your mouth, but you want to keep your lips puckered on the outside. Ooh, but don't let things squish on the inside. For me, it's easy for me to remember to keep open on the inside when I bring my eyebrows up. So in warm-ups like this, I tend to do a lot of bringing my eyebrows up. It's my visual reminder to keep things open on the inside. I'm going to demonstrate the warm-up for you first, and then we'll go through several modulations of singing this warm-up. I tend to start somewhere around middle C whenever I'm doing a tired voice warm-up, just because it's a very comfortable range. I'm not trying to sing very low. I'm not pushing into my higher register. So I start, in, um, I start this on a C chord at middle C. As you do this warm-up, the first four notes that you sing are all identical, and I want you to feel that you're just barely touching that pitch before you move on to the next notes. The rest of the warm-up is a, is a smoother sound. as you allow the pitches to kind of grow and shrink a little bit in volume. So altogether, again, it is. Okay, as we get into this, remember you want to keep your lips puckered, but you want space on the inside. Here we go. modulate on the piano, you want to make sure you're taking a nice deep breath to give you the air to support those pitches, especially as you're going through to the higher notes and coming back down.
very nice. As you're going through this, you might feel that your lips are wiggling or tingling. Um, believe it or not, you're using muscles uh, right here that you probably don't use all day long in keeping your lips puckered in that ooh shape. So that feeling is just your lip muscles saying, uh, hey, what's going on? We haven't done anything like this in a long time. It's normal. The more you do something like that, the, the less you'll notice that feeling. The next one that we're moving on to is going to stay in a similar range. We're going to go back to that C chord at middle C. But instead of starting at the lower pitch, the C, we're going to start at the higher pitch, the G, up there. We're still going to keep that ooh sound, so our lips are going to still be puckered. And we're still going to have that space inside our mouths. You can, um, you can almost think of it like you have a gumball inside your mouth. That space that you need to create, just feel like, okay, I've got a gumball in there, so my mouth can't be squished down. And you need your tongue to be relaxed to be able to get that gumball in your mouth. So your lips are puckered, space inside. For me, my eyebrows are going to go up. It's just habitual as I do these kind of warm-ups. So once again, we're doing an oo sound, get rid of the L at the beginning, just the oo sound. I'll demonstrate it and then we'll go through it together. You're going to slide, you're kind of smearing through the pitches from the G to the E and back down to the C. Your goal in that sliding sound is to get rid of all of the bumps in your pitches or the kind of crunchiness or little hiccup sounds that go in there as you smooth it all out, keeping everything open and very relaxed. Let's give it a try. Here we go. And as we modulate, we're going to take a deep breath. my lips start to wiggle. Excellent. You might feel that you needed to yawn or you had the urge to yawn through that. A lot of times as you're doing these type of warm-ups, that have all of that open space inside your mouth. It's that same feeling right as you need to yawn. And so you're almost telling your, your brain, hey, wait, that's a yawn movement, right? So we need to yawn. It's OK. It's not bad for your voice if you're yawning in the middle of your warm ups. In fact, it's just going to keep everything all the more relaxed, which is exactly what we're going for right now because we're being nice to our voices. OK, let's move on to the next one. We have two more back to school voice warm ups. This one is just the word hello. We're going to use the exact same pitches that we used on the previous warm up. The difference is we're actually getting real words this time, or real word this time. And we're going to try to get rid of that slide. We're not going to put that slide in. It's already served its purpose in the previous warm up. So I'm going to go back to middle C to start. We're still starting with the higher pitch, which would be a G if you're doing this with your piano. So we're going to start with a G. Start the word hello up there and then end on the middle C. It's going to go like this. Hello. And then we'll modulate up. Hello. As we continue through, you might feel the need to get louder as we go up. Hello. You don't want that. We're being nice to our voice. We're not really focusing on producing a lot of sound. We're just getting our voice moving. We're just engaging it musically, getting it ready to do what we're going to do all day long, whether that's talking in front of a class or listening in a class, um, yelling, and whispering, all of the things that we put our voices through all day long. This is an excellent way to get them ready for that workout that we're going to do. So here we go. As we modulate up, you want to once again take a deep breath. 
nice relaxed little sound. Here we go. Hello. Hello. And remember you're not sliding, so you're not going to hello. We don't want that. Here we go. attention you might have picked up on the fact that we went a little bit higher on this warm-up than we've done with the previous two part of the reason for that is we've already done two warm-ups so your voice is already kind of exercised to a certain extent and gotten a little more prepared to add some range to it the last back to school voice warm-up that we're gonna do it uses the word we owe which is really not a word. You'll notice a lot of vocal warm-ups. We make up a lot of strange sounds and we sound partially crazy while we do them, but they're excellent for your voice and that's why we do them. This one's going to have us moving around a lot more. Uh, the previous three warm-ups used at most three pitches and we were very confined in the direction that we were going. This one's going to have us going down in skips and coming up in steps and going down in skips and coming up in steps. There's a lot more movement to it. Let me demonstrate it and then we'll um, go from there. We, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. You might feel the need to go, we, oh, we, oh. You don't want to do that. Naturally, the E sound, your mouth moves apart to make it as opposed to the O sound, which is nice and relaxed and um, almost puckered like an ooh. You want to kind of bridge the gap between the we and the o, so you don't have we o more. We o we o we o we o we. Instead of we o we, you get the point. Here we go as we modulate up. We o we o. So that's our last back to school voice warm up. Thanks for taking the time to work out your voice with me. I hope that you found this to be helpful. I hope that at, at the end of this little workout that you feel that you are more prepared to use your voice today, however you plan on using that, whether that's singing, whether that's talking, whatever you have on your agenda for the day. My recommendation is to come back to these warm ups every day for a week and see if you can feel a difference in how healthy your voice feels or how prepared it feels to engage in all of the voice stuff you're going to do for the day, even if it's not singing, even if it's just talking. I would love to hear what you think. Please feel free to share in the comments below. If you feel like this was helpful information, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when new content is released. I also do piano practice videos, so if you happen to also be a pianist, check out that video that was released earlier. Thanks for taking the time to warm up with me. I hope to see you next time.